everybody. My name is Nick Dutch, and of course it's no big secret that I've got some kind of curiosity in the subjects of the paranormal. But when someone comes at me with uh, the subjects of cloud busting, I can get really rather upset. Cloud busting, for those of you who don't know, is the belief that you can lie on your back on a hillside in beautiful sunny weather, gaze up at a particular cloud, and by the power of your mind, you can make it dissolve and disintegrate. This is totally untestable. But you may think to yourself, oh, but I've done it. I actually did lie down on the grass and stare up at the sky and I looked at the cloud and after a while it went away. But these people don't seem to realise that the atmosphere itself is very complex. There's all manner of eddies and vortices and changes of pressure and temperature which will affect the condensation level and indeed the structure of the cloud itself. There are winds of various different speeds which will also blow the cloud in various different directions and shapes. So you count realistically say that it's you personally who was the one singular factor which actually made it happen. Cloud busting appears to be something which rather dubious people do to try and convince rather naive people that they have some kind of supernatural power. This is of course thoroughly dishonest and disingenuous. Okay? Maybe in a hypothetical world one could actually influence some aspects of the natural world with one's mind, some aspects of the physical natural world, but this still remains rather hypothetical. So let us just try and discard that and accept the, th the fact that there are certain things that we don't actually know. And on top of that, if you have some kind of curiosity about cloud busting, I would strongly recommend you search the internet for any footage that you can find of time lapses of the sky and to see how many of those clouds are appearing and disappearing, under what particular circumstances they were, maybe do some research into the air pressure, atmospheric pressure, relative humidity, and wind direction and speed, and so on and so forth, and so that you, you can get a feeling for what kind of conditions can make the kind of sky in which clouds can appear and disappear. I would say a modicum of scepticism would be very useful for anyone who has got a curiosity in the subject of cloud busting. Please.